Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making something sweet. Literally, we're going to be making maple syrup! <laughs> Have you ever wondered how maple syrup is made? It all starts with trees and a little bit of science. Let's go explore how it works. Let's start with the big picture. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is how a maple tree makes its own food. It starts with sunlight. The tree's leaves contain chlorophyll, a green pigment that captures energy from the sun. Using that energy, the tree turns carbon dioxide from the air and water from the ground into glucose, a simple sugar. That sugar, powers the tree during the growing season and gets stored in its roots over the winter. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. Early spring. The days are warming up, but nights still freeze. When the temperature drops below freezing at night, the sap inside the tree contracts, creating suction. This pulls water from the roots up into the tree. Then, during the warmer daytime, the sap expands and builds pressure. That pressure pushes the sugary sap upward through the tree and sometimes even out of small holes or taps in the bark. These daily freeze-thaw cycles act like a natural pump, helping the sap rise. This cycle can repeat for weeks and as long as the nights stay cold and days are warm, the sap keeps flowing and that sap it's the same sweet liquid we collect and boil down into pure maple syrup. So thanks to photosynthesis, stored sugars, and the rhythm of nature's temperature changes, we get one of the sweetest signs of spring. This is one of the pumps that goes through the line and into the holding tank. It's our smaller one. We have two though. The pump helps us get the sap from the trees into this tube, which leads to the main tube which leads all the sap to our storage. We have about seven miles of this line in our property. Now let's go to where the magic really happens. We're gonna go to where the maple syrup is actually made. This is our transport tank. It can store up to 1,500 gallons. We take all the sap from the woods to here so then we can turn it into maple syrup. Next, let's step into the cooking shack where I can show you the next steps of our process. RO stands for reverse osmosis. All the sap gets run through here twice and turns all the water into mostly sap. 22%. Sugar contact is measured in bricks. Bricks is the percent of sugar in water. For example, there's 18% bricks. That means there's 18% sugar in water. If you look to my right, this is the cooker which boils all the water to make it evaporate and there's more sugar now. Did you know it takes 40 gallons of sap to make one gallon of maple syrup? Syrup is made when it reaches 219 degrees. That, when it is 219 degrees, there is 66% sugar. Any less and it will boil. Any more and it will crystallize in the jar. 
when the syrup reaches 219 degrees. Maybe a little bit longer. Then you put it in this giant bin and then it takes it all the way to those barrels. Those barrels have over 50 gallons of syrup a piece. I smell pancakes tomorrow morning. And that pancake has to have some syrup. When we're done with the barrel, we move it with a tractor like this. This is where we keep all our maple syrup till we're ready to bottle it. We have made 15 barrels, which all the barrels have 55 gallons of syrup in them. That equals 850 gallons of maple syrup. Just look at them all. This has been a fun time making maple syrup with you guys. If you like my video, subscribe, click the bell for more of my videos, and let me know in the comments if I should make another one. See you next time. Bye. My grandpa makes the best maple syrup.